Hello, welcome to Mont Park Model Railway. In this video, we'll look at the Mont Park's black control panels, why I designed them and how I went about building them and how we recently have done some modification to the Litchfield panel. In designing Mont Park Model Railway, which the intent was to replicate a similar design to my late uncle's layout, I was keen to not completely replicate the master control panel and the wiring problems that were inherent in that. And so one of the things I wanted to do is separate the layout into three separate control panels. So what I ended up with is three panels, one for each area of the layout, one for Newark, one for Peterborough, and one for Litchfield. I then used Microsoft Visio to draw up the general layout of each of the three control panels. This is the one for Litchfield. So each control panel would have the section switches for selecting which controller would control them. They're the green, the green triangles. Then there's the yellow switches which are, are able to reverse the polarity for each section and then the point switches which were for throwing the points and then the blue switches were for the um, coupling ramps and so this is uses a two centimeter grid for, for laying out the general how the different how far the switches are from each other so each control panel is made from an A4 size 3mm acrylic or perspex sheet. The white and red lines are using gridding tape. Gridding tape is often used um, for white on whiteboards for creating a permanent um, line that isn't easily erased. In each of the sheets or panels that are, are, are sits in its own frame, which is able to be um, lifted up and to be able to access easily access the, the rears, rear of the switch mechanisms if any alterations or fault finding is required. During recent works on the Litchfield sidings, where we put the two siding points on the main line and introduce the um, remote controlled uncoupling ramp, it was then necessary to make similar changes to the control panel. So as mentioned earlier, the control panels are designed on a two centimetre grid, ensuring that each switch is two centimetres apart and has sufficient clearance for both um, using and moving the switches without accidentally knocking the one beside it but also doing the wiring behind the switch so this is locating where we're going to put the uncoupling ramp switch the next task is to drill a small pilot hole and then remove any gridding tape that won't be required um, before we drill the main hole for the switch shaft and remove the gridding tape there so it doesn't get caught on the drill and then tear it off the off the panel. Next we drill the main hole, then mount the two, mount all three switches and redo the gridding tape to represent where the new sidings run. Noting that the two new sidings are in the centre that run at a 45 degree angle which is um, quite different to most of the other sidings which run um, horizontal. And this is our updated schematic diagram with our uncoupling ramp and two sidings at the 45 degree angle. Well, that's the that come to the end of this video. Uh, thank you for watching.